Hey Omis, welcome to Om Yoga. Today's class is a 45 minute power vinyasa flow and we are focusing on our solar plexus. We're gonna be doing some twisting, a lot of core work, and strengthening the body from head to toe. We're gonna to be utilizing the essential oil patchouli. If you don't have it, you can use frankincense and if you don't wanna use the oils, don't worry about it. All right, you're going to also need a block and if you like this class, please comment below. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to see what's going on on the own front, check out my website at www.essentiallyom.com to become a part of my family and subscribe to our newsletter. You can also find me on Instagram at Mary Ohm for Love. Let's begin. All right, we're gonna begin with the application of the oil. So you're gonna take your patchouli, take a drop, put it on your finger, and then you're gonna take and apply it right over your solar plexus, which is two fingers above your navel. Just go ahead and rub that in. You can also put it on your feet, and you can also put it in your diffuser. And with this class, we're gonna begin standing. You're gonna to come to the top of your mat and take your feet hip distance apart. We're gonna begin with a breath of joy. So this really gets the circulation going, heart pumping, also begins to turn on the fire, right? Igniting our solar plexus a little bit as we get our heart open. So you can watch me for the first couple of rounds. We're gonna take about 10 rounds of this, but we're gonna inhale arms up, out, up, and then down. We're taking an exhalation out through the mouth as we bend forward. So watch and then join along as soon as you can so you get the full experience of it, okay? We're gonna inhale. your bearings a little bit. So this is a really cleansing breath for me of the exhalation, kind of getting out extra breath, unwanted breath, all the stale air, right? And then bringing in new breath, because how can you not breathe through that? <laughs> We're going to begin still standing. You can take your feet, bring them together if you want, or you can keep them hip distance apart. We're gonna inhale, arms are gonna sweep up to the sky. And then as we exhale, we're gonna bring our hands to our heart center for a moment, collecting our bearings in case our breath is still a little out there, up there. Let's connect. Closing our eyes down. I'll go ahead and set the intention for us today. And it's focus on. What we focus on will be, even though we may not see. What do we bring in when we live life without a grin? Focus on the good, to live a life we wish we could. Live the life we desire with passion and a fire. Manifest this life we want and be, living in a body with a soul that is free. So where in our life do we need to focus on bringing in more joy, more passion, maybe even more focus? Is it our dreams, our desires, our practice? Our solar plexus is where our desires lie. Really putting things into action. So wherever you are, let's connect in, bringing in our personal intention. Let go of all your air. Inhale, in through the nose, filling up the belly. Audible exhale, let go. Slowing everything down. Inhale, this time filling up the belly, this time breathing in what we want to focus on, deep into our belly. 
Big audible exhale, sending it out into the room. Slowly begin to open your eyes. We're going to inhale, reach our arms up to the sky. Option one, go ahead and take your palms apart. And let your hands be shoulder distance. Otherwise, bring your palms to touch. Think about your tailbone and kind of point it down towards the floor. If you have your palms touching, you can go ahead and kind of interlace your thumbs. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. Then as we exhale, we're going to come into a half moon here. So we're pressing our hips over to the right as we lean over to the left, and we're really grounding down through the right foot. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Keep your chest square. Exhale, go a little deeper. Inhale back to center, and as we exhale, we switch, leaning over to the right, pressing our hips to the left, draw your navel in so you're protecting your low back. Again, inhale, exhale. Inhale back to center, and as we exhale, we fold, draw the navel in. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step back, finding your first chaturanga. You always have the option to skip these. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, whatever feels best for your body. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your way to the top. Big toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise, Urva Sasana, arms up to the sky. And then as we exhale, half moon to the left. Press your hips over to the right. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, over to the right. Inhale, center. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower halfway down, elbows are hugging in. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top. Maybe you add a little hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise. Arms sweep up to the sky. And exhale, half moon over to the left. Inhale, center, and exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, down dog. Let's pause here and just Pedal out the feet a little bit. Now, if you were asking yourself earlier why on earth I chose patchouli, <laughs> trust me, I've been there. And I found that patchouli essential oil is like a fine wine, even though I don't drink anymore. You really got to find the right one to find the one that smells good, true smell, not like yucky, <laughs> right? Gently come back to center. And I chose patchouli because, number one, it's extremely grounding, but mainly because patchouli is very supportive of the digestive tract, which is our solar plexus. Inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, step your way to the top. Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Utkatasana, chair pose. Let your arms sweep up to the sky. And then think about sitting your bottom down. Your tailbone is pointing down. So I talk about this. I don't want it to be like a slope that you could ski off of. Right? Arms reach up. Keeping your pelvis neutral. Now as you exhale, we're going to goal post your arms. Inhale to lift your heart. Then as we exhale, we're going to twist over to the right. Keep your knees square to the front. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist. Feels really good on the shoulders. Inhale back to center, and then we exhale and switch over to the left. Keep your knees square, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale back to center. Lift your heart, lift your gaze, low back bend. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway. 
Exhale, chaturanga. Moving through your vinyasa, we'll meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg, rather right leg, <laughs> reaches up to the sky. Then as you exhale, you're gonna round your knee in towards your chest, your chin, or your nose. Bring your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, round. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. Exhale, low lunge. Squeeze your inner thighs together. And inhale, we rise into heart crescent pose. Arms are up. Your right hip is going to come back. You can take a bend to your back knee. Neutralize your pelvis first. Then begin to extend out. And rather than having this outward motion with the, with the chest and the body, I want you to think about pulling it in. Navel in, ribs in, body in. Bring your palms to touch. And as you exhale, hands to heart center. You can straighten out through your back heel if you haven't yet, if it feels comfortable. Inhale, hinge forward, lengthen the heart forward, crown of the head forward. Then as we exhale, we twist. Left elbow, right knee. Inhale, every inhale we lengthen. Every exhale, going a little bit deeper. What that deeper is to you could be completely different than me and that's okay. Focus on what your practice needs to be. Big deep breath in, big deep breath out. Maybe bring your gaze up over your right shoulder. One more, inhale, exhale. Bring your gaze down to your right foot. Take an inhale. Then as you exhale, you're going to come into a revolved warrior three. So maybe you take your time getting there. Maybe you step right into it. You're going to be low for this one. Inhale. Exhale. Now as you inhale, you have your block if you need it. Otherwise, right hand comes down, left hand up, coming into your Ardha Chandrasana. So we're twisting and releasing, working through the liver meridian, getting into the digestive tract, Working the body, working the stomach. Inhale, exhale. Now as you inhale, bending into your left knee and bringing it forward. Okay, option one, you're gonna take your right hand to your left knee and open twist. Okay, option two through 10, you're gonna take the outer edge of your left foot and come into your revolved big toe pose. Wherever we go, left hip drops down. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist. Again, inhale. Exhale. Now to inhale, release your foot. Arms sweep up, Urban Hastasana. And as we exhale, we fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. And as we exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg. Now reach as high to the sky. <laughs> and as you exhale, you round knee to your chest, your chin, your forehead. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, round, moving with intention. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. Exhale, low lunge. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, we rise. Crescent lunge. Bend in your back knee. Neutralize your hips. Then extend out if you can. Inhale, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, we hinge forward. Then as we exhale, we find our revolved crescent pose. Palms are pressing together. And then we're trying to work our palms towards our heart and our heart towards our palms. Every breath in we lengthen, every exhale we twist. But rather than trying to bring your right hip forward and kind of twist too much on the pelvis, try to keep your right hip back a little bit. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, look down at your left foot. As you inhale, step into your revolved Warrior three. Your elbow and your knee might not touch, that's okay. Now as you inhale, open wide into your Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. 
Use your block if needed. Flex like crazy through your lifted foot. Big breath in. Exhale. As you inhale, bend and bring your right foot forward. Right knee forward. And again, pick your option. Left hand, right knee. Left hand, right foot. I'm not going to cue through the options through the second and third round. So find what works for your body and take it there. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, twist. Working our solar plexus, feeling our strength. One more big breath in. Breath out. Inhale. Urdhvastasana. Arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. So when we're working with our solar plexus, when we in down dog, sometimes we can kind of find like this excitement in our body, a little bit of anxiety maybe, when we aren't quite connected and grounded in. So number one, yoga is going to help this, but also using patchouli is very calming to the emotions. And you'll notice that this flow, the standing balance postures, really help to ground and center. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, make your way to the top. Step, walk, or half. So we're combining the use of the oils with the practice, taking it to a different level. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low. Utkatasana, arms up. Exhale, goal post. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Lift your heart, low back bend. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent pose, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Draw your navel in. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, twist. Stay here for two breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. Last one. Inhale, look down. Exhale, revolve to warrior three. Inhale, half moon, flex your left toes. Big breath in. Exhale, coming into your revolve big toe pose or holding on to your knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Vinyasa, down dog, we'll meet. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise. Crescent pose, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, twist. Again, two rounds of breath. What are we focusing on? One more. Inhale, gaze down. Exhale, revolve, warrior three. Inhale, we open. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Exhale, coming through for your version of big toe. Inhale, twist. One more breath. Ground down, inhale, exhale, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, 
Arms sweep up. Feel the strength that you are moving with. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, chaturanga. So as we work with this, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Really working on finding a balance with our Manipura Chakra. Go ahead and pedal out the legs. When we can settle our fire, not burning too far, and not being put out, we can move with the strength and the grace required. Right? Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, arms up. Exhale, go close to your arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, center. Lift your heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, round it in nice and tight. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise up. Crescent pose, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, twist. Two rounds of breath. Inhale, gaze down. Exhale, revolved warrior three. Take your time getting there. Inhale, we open. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Exhale, working your way to your big toe pose. Inhale, we open, how we twist. One more breath in. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Vinyasa. Your version. Maybe it's just down dog. <laughs> Once in down dog. Inhale, left leg reaches high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, we rise. Crescent pose, palm stretch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rinse. One more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale, look down. Exhale, find your revolved warrior three. Inhale, we open Ardha Chandrasana. Exhale, moving through, finding your big toe pose, revolved. Inhale, lengthening both arms up. Exhale, twist. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga. Wipe it clean. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look to the top. And as you exhale, step forward, have a seat. All right, so we're gonna begin. You're gonna want your block at the top of your mat, but we'll first start with our Navasana boat pose. You can begin with your feet down, hands behind your hips. Lift your heart, lift your chest. Pull your navel in towards your spine. Lift your pelvic floor. 
and then begin to lean back. Once you feel like you can't go any further, <laughs> that's where you want to stay. Maybe you extend your arms. Maybe you lift your feet. Maybe you take your legs and extend them. Keep drawing the navel in. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Cross at your ankles, hands are forward and down. We lift and we lower. Back to boat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Cross, lift, lower. Again. Five, four, three, two, and one. Cross, lift, and lower. Making sure you have enough room to lay down. Come back into your bow pose. Extend your legs. My knees need to stay bent today. Listen to your body. Okay? Your feet need to stay down. They can't, although we're going to move with this. As we inhale, we're going to come into our Ardha Navasana. Shoulders and feet stay off the mat. Exhale in. Inhale open. Exhale in. Inhale open. Exhale in. Inhale open. Exhale in. One more. Inhale open. Palms down. We're going to pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Lay down. <laughs> That's it. You're done. Just kidding. We still have some class to finish up. Let your palms face up for a moment, though. Let your feet fall out. Feel your breath pulsing through your body. Feel your heart. And then take a moment. Just roll your head from side to side. Maybe you're a big puddle of sweat on your mat like I am. Maybe not. If not, you need to start this class over again and catch up. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and make your way to the top of your mat in a squat. So you can cross at your ankles, come forward, and make it into your squat, or you can just roll over and walk your way there. All right, so from here in your squat, you want to have your feet, obviously your heels and toes out. Now, rather than bringing the weight all the way into the ball of the foot, I personally have a tendency to do that. So think about, are you leaning forward or inward, right? Take the pressure into the ball of the pinky side of your foot as well and feel how you can really firm down with this. Now you're gonna lift your block. Put a smile on your face. What are you gonna focus on? You're gonna squat or that you're getting a nice, healthy body? <laughs> you pick. Inhale, arms extend forward. As we exhale, we walk to the back. And again, just breathe, right? Block lowers down, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat back down. Inhale, lift the block. Exhale, we walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat down. One more time. Inhale, and we walk back as we exhale. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, back to the top. All you gotta do, you just gotta make it back to the top. Did you get stuck? <laughs> Inhale, bring your feet closer together. Lift your heart, lift your chest. Move your block to the side as you exhale, fold. Again, inhale this time. Nice halfway lift. And as we exhale, step back into your down dog. Take three rounds of breath to reconnect here. In through the nose, out through the nose. Slowing down the heart, inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale, exhale, moving on, inhale, right leg reaches high, exhale, low lunge, spin your back heel down to a 45 degree angle, and we inhale, rise into our warrior one, exhale, bend deeper into your front knee, we're only here for about two breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, left hand down to the floor, spin to the outer edge of your left foot, step your right foot back, Vashisthasana, side plank, arm reaches up to the sky, big breath in, 
exhale plank inhale reach your right leg up exhale round knee to chest still working our running quarter inhale solar plexus exhale round inhale open exhale round inhale open exhale right knee right elbow inhale and then as you exhale cross it over extend your left right leg out to the left okay now as you inhale you're going to lower your right hip down to the ground lift inhale lower towards the ground nice stretch exhale lift again inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower exhale lift now you're going to take your right leg reach it around all the way around and flip your dog big breath in exhale to pause let your heart open one more breath in then exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog inhale left leg to the sky exhale low lunge spin your back heel down inhale we rise nice and strong into our warrior one right hip back rather left hip back right hip comes forward two more rounds of breath bend nice and strong into your front knee one more exhale right hand down to the ground step your left foot back Vashi Stasana inhale left arm to the sky exhale one more inhale exhale plank inhale left leg reaches up exhale round knee to chest inhale up exhale in inhale up exhale left knee left elbow inhale back exhale left knee right elbow extend the leg take a big deep breath in exhale lower left hip down towards the floor getting into the IT down outer edges of the hip inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower again inhale lift exhale lower and now as you inhale step the left foot around as we spin open into our wild thing let your heart open one more breath in. exhale chaturanga inhale up dog and exhale down dog inhale look forward as you exhale step forward have a seat grab your block and then bring yourself to the middle of your mat getting ready to lay down almost time a little bit more time all right you're almost there you've almost made it <laughs> you're going to take your block and you're going to take it below your feet if this is too much for you you can obviously skip the block you can also take the block to your shins rather your thighs and keep your forearms on it keeping your heart lifted but keeping your feet flexed okay. but if you can if it's in your practice take the block below your feet we're inhaling to lengthen through the crown of our head drawing the navel in and then as we exhale we fold we're not really rounding forward we're keeping the shoulders down and away from the ear inhale exhale again inhale exhale you want to go ahead and fold forward and release you can folding forward is a great way to move any stuck energy along the liver meridian which holds on to anger and resentment it also helps with digestion getting things to move through right whether it's stuck emotions or physical parts now as you inhale walk yourself up you're going to lay down on your back taking a block to your sides or side rather walk your feet in lift your heart arms extend out and then as you exhale you begin to lay down 
Once your shoulders touch the floor, palms are going to face down. Walk your feet in to where you can touch your feet, your heels rather, with your fingers. Knees in line from hips, feet in line from knees. We're going to come into our Setu Bandhasana, our bridge pose. As you inhale, lift your pelvis up towards the sky. Then you're going to pause. I want you to relax the back side of the body, walking your shoulder blades together, interlacing your hands, and then pressing your palms together, pressing your pinkies down into the floor. And then you're going to press nice and firm into your heels. You're working your chest towards your chin. Slow, steady breath. One more. Inhale. And exhale, slowly release your hands and lower down. Soles of your feet come together, knees open wide. So you want to cross that. One hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Checking in with how the hips feel, how the breath feels, how the body feels. Slowing down. We're going to take a second round of bridge. Actually, a second and a third. Okay. The second round we're going to take with our block. So you're going to take your hands to the outer edges of your thighs, close your knees together, give yourself a squeeze, raise up the spine, feet back down. Now you're going to lift your hips up, take your block, take it at least um, one height, right? Not the flat height, but at least the medium height and take it underneath your sacrum. Once you find it, the front side of your body is just going to automatically relax and release. You can take it to the higher height as well if you'd like, or the highest, I should say. Palms are pressing down. And once again, letting the front side of the body open and soften. Check back in with our intention. Were we able to maintain our focus on how we want our practice to be, but also letting go of it at the same time? One more breath in. Lift your hips. And as you exhale, lower them back down to the ground. This time you're going to draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. You can rock a little side to side if you'd like. Okay. Then coming back to center and to stillness, release your feet back down to the ground. Option three for the third round, or I should say third round, but options for this um, is coming into Urdhva Dhanurasana, our full wheel pose. If that's not in your practice, completely okay. Go ahead and take your supported bridge, but maybe you take it a height higher with your block. Okay, or you can just take your regular bridge without any support on that side. If you're going to come into, I'm going to cue wheel here, so go into your bridge if you need to. Otherwise, your arms are going to extend up over your head, palms face up. Make sure your knees, hips, and heels are all in line. Then as you inhale, slowly begin to lift your pelvis up off the floor, lifting your spine off. Then you're going to walk your hands to the outer edges of your ears, palms down to the ground, fingertips face your shoulders. Rather than letting your elbows splay out, draw them in. Take an inhale, lift to the crown of your head and pause. Now as you exhale, lift up into your wheel. Urva Dhanurasana. Just breaking free and opening the heart, the entire spine, liberating all of the chakras. So as we work on our Manipura in the solar plexus, allowing the energy to flow completely through the body. Two more rounds of breath. Slowly tuck your chin to your chest, lower to your head, lower down. Sukta Vodakamasana. One hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Connect in with the breath. One more inhale. Exhale. 
You can draw your knees together, squeeze them in. We're going to take a rather easy supine today because we've already done so much twisting. So you're going to take your arms out to a T, drop your tippy toes down to the floor, inhale, lift your hips up, walk them to the right. As you exhale, drop your knees to the left, gaze over to your right hand. Points of contact are your right shoulders connected down to the ground, and you want to work your right hip towards the left front corner of your mat. To go deeper, you can extend your right leg and grab onto the outer edge of your foot. Inhale, draw yourself back to center. Squeeze in to reset and neutralize. And then your feet come back down, arms out. Inhale, lift your hips up. Walk them over to the left. And as you exhale, knees fall to the right. Let your gaze fall to your left hand. Point of contact is the left shoulder to the mat and your left hip working towards the right side of your mat. Extend your top leg if you did on the other side. Inhale, draw yourself back to center. Squeeze everything into a teeny tiny little ball. Draw your forehead in towards your knees. Take a big deep breath in. And as you exhale, find your final Shavasana. Palms face up, feet fall out. Feeling the connection with your mind, your body, your breath. And feeling at peace. What we focus on will be, even though we may not see. What do we bring in when we live life without a grin? Focus on the good, to live a life we wish we could. Live the life we desire with passion and a fire. Manifest this life we want and be, living in a body with a soul that's free. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists. Roll your ankles, roll your head from side to side. As you inhale, extend your arms up overhead for a nice full body stretch. And as you exhale, draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze and find your way to your right side. And as you pause, can you feel the freedom that we have created in the body to allow our soul to be free and liberated, our solar plexus nice and open, when you are ready, press into your top hand, bring yourself to a seat at the top of your mat. Once there, hands to heart center, 
So bring our gaze down to our fingertips and close our eyes. It's from the bottom of my heart to yours that I thank you for allowing me to be your guide. Hands to our lips. May our words always be kind and true to others, but most importantly, always kind and true to ourselves. Hands to the center of our eyebrows, the center of our intuition and divine light. The highest in me honors and recognizes the highest in you, and together in this place and in this space, we are one. I humbly bow forward in honor of you. Namaste.